Well, all the astronauts had to go get some tang. Uh, this is actually, uh, Mr. Lenny was a flight director, uh, very, uh, very popular within NASA circles. Jerry Ross is a veteran, veteran shuttle astronaut and a good friend of um, our good friend from Clearwater, Astro Nicole Stott. And uh, Nikki Stott actually uh, told me much about him and told me that his daughter uh, designed gloves for the uh, spacesuits that are used by the astronauts in space for EVAs. And it turns out that uh, his daughter is now designing uh, the whole suits now, so that's awesome. Now here is a guy with a lot of guts, and I'll show you why. He went out without a tether into space wearing this thing. This is uh, him. Very famous pictures from uh, walking outside the shuttle without a tether with nothing but a thruster suit on. Mr. Walker is a uh, three-time shuttle astronaut, really a nice guy. Here is uh, my hero of heroes, uh, Vance Brand. Uh, Vance uh, not only flew the Apollo, uh, opening the doors for what's known now as the International Space Station and the International Partnership, but he also commanded uh, three different shuttle missions. And it's really fun to listen to him talk about the difference between flying the uh, shuttle uh, with a rocket on top of you versus a, a very powerful Saturn that's uh, all under you. And it's very fun to watch him uh, talk about the changes over the years in avionics uh, for the shuttle program itself, plus the differences between the uh, Apollo program and the shuttle. Now Jack is the guy who m made a one-time only landing uh, on the White Sands uh, runway uh, in New Mexico. And uh, the only time it was ever done, as a matter of fact, they almost flipped the thing when they landed, but it was really a an awesome landing and as you can see he was also a veteran of Skylab 2 which is very interesting because that's the one that had to repair the uh, heat shield damage from the uh, the first launch and uh, this is uh, Mr. Fred Hayes he's most famous for being for having the guts to actually pop off of a 747 in a powerless space shuttle and uh, if you've ever seen, if you've ever, if you've ever seen the movie Apollo 13, uh, he was not in the movie. He was the movie. That he, uh, Apollo 13 was the basis of uh, the Ron Howard film, and we are very glad to have him back. Ed Gibson is a astronaut uh, that as well flew uh, on Skylab. Walter Cunningham is an astronaut who, late great astronaut uh, Wally Schirra. Jim McDivitt was one of the uh, very interesting uh, Gemini astronauts who later flew on Apollo 9. Now that's the that's the one that uh, tested out the new and improved Apollo uh, Apollo capsule that was rebuilt after uh, the uh, after the disaster at Apollo 1. Uh, Dave Scott flew with uh, Neil Armstrong, the Dryden uh, test pilot. Uh, on Gemini. That was a very interesting mission. Also flew on Apollo 9 and you see a little uh, you see a little uh, to get togetherness here. He was also the uh, commander of on Apollo 15. And I'm very proud to announce that our friend Lucy West has won Best Show this year. I'm not surprised, and I'm sure uh, it's very well deserved. What an awesome uh, painter she is. I've told you all about her for many, many months and said, if for no other reason, get up to Space Fest for Lucy, because really awesome art and job well done for her to win this uh, very great prize. And it's very hard to win this one, and she did it.